Hi guys, in this video we are going to get your lab notebook ready to do the mass and change lab. Uh, if you do not have your lab notebook, you're going to need that. And you also need a copy of the procedure. It's on pink paper if you're in my class. I don't know about the other teachers, but uh, it looks the same in those other classes too. It's got some lines on it. All right, so we're going to get started here. You've already filled this out. Um, you've got your title page and your table of contents. We're going to add this lab to the table of contents. This lab is part of Unit 1. Wait, are you using a blue or black pen? Grab a blue or black pen. Unit 1. This is our first lab. It is called Mass and Change. I'm going to call it Mass and Change Lab just because it makes me feel better. I'm going to put this on page 4, which means I'll be skipping over page 3. So now that I've got that entered in on page 2, that was page 2, I'm going to skip page 3. So I'm going to turn this page and turn this page. And here I am on page 4. Page 4. First thing i got to do according to my lab notebook uh, layout and grading rubric is I need a title. Mass and change. You write lab on the end, that's okay. Mass and change. Next thing I need is the date. Um, here in my class it's 831 and your class might be different. Write down whatever date it really is for you. What is your date? Put your date there. Whatever format you'd like is fine with me. Next thing I need is a purpose. So I'm going to write the purpose. All right, the purpose of this lab is to determine whether mass remains constant or changes. Determine whether mass remains constant or changes. Okay, so there's my purpose. Next thing I need is my hypothesis. By the way, if I'm going too fast, just hit pause. Hypothesis. Now, I can't fill out a hypothesis for you because <coughs> I, I don't know what you think is going to happen. But I can help you think about it. In this lab, you're going to be pulling apart steel wool, melting ice, dissolving sugar, forming a precipitate, burning steel wool, and putting Alka-Seltzer in water. So think about those situations. And then finish this sentence. I think mass will... What do you think? Do you think it'll stay the same? Do you think it'll change? Do you think it depends on the situation? Describe what you think will happen. And then finish that sentence with because. If you think it will increase. Why do you think it will increase? If you think it will stay the same. Why do you think it will stay the same? Answer the why question. Feel free to pause if you need to. Notice how I made a mistake and crossed it out with a single line. Okay, so that's hypothesis. Next part is the procedure, taped or glued in. Okay, so I've got my procedure here. I like to fold mine. If you want to cut it and paste it in different places, that's fine too. I like the book style because it makes me feel special. So I like to write procedure on the outside of it so that I can remember what this is for. And then I'm going to glue my procedure right here. This is on the back of page 3. You could glue it on the back of page 4 if you'd rather have it over there. It doesn't really matter where you glue it as long as you glue it and you glue it in good and then you use it. Procedure tells you what you're doing and what order you're doing. Uh, things in also has your list of materials on it. You don't have to write a separate list of materials. So there's my procedure. The other thing you're going to have to do with the procedure is while you're working through, the purpose of these lines is for you to initial the steps. So for me, after I masked the steel wool and put it at my before mass, I would write JG. Those are my initials. You would write your own initials, but you got to make sure you do that while you're working on the lab. All right, so that's our purpose. That's how you get the second of those two points. Okay. The next section we need is an uh, observations section. Observations. And a note here that you might have noticed data is down here, so I'm going to make a note. This is not your data section. The numbers you collect, the data you collect goes in the data table. This is for the observations that you make. So it says here description includes qualitative observations from the census and includes any mishaps or ahas that occurred. So while you're observing, the uh, different parts of this lab over here, write down what you see in this section. Now, there's six parts, so I'm going to leave all this blank. So I'm flipping now to page five. So now I'm on page five. All right, so on page five, I'm going to put the next thing, which is a chart for my data and graphs. 
Now in this lab there are six, sec six parts, six sections that I'm going to have to put some data for. So I'm going to make my table. It's going to have six rows and four columns. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've made each row two lines. You know, in case I make a mistake and I need a little bit more space to write the correct answer. Feel free to use a ruler if you have trouble with straight lines. Now I'm going to draw uh, four columns not necessarily even. In the first column I'm going to write the part. In the second column I'm going to write the uh, before mass in grams. In the second column I'm going to write the after mass in grams. And then in this last column I'm going to write the difference. So what the change was, and I need to include whether it was positive or negative because I want to know if it went up or down. Okay. So over here, I'm going to write down the part. For example, the first part is pulling apart steel wool. Okay. Now it says those over here in the procedure, pulling apart steel wool. So I've got those. I'm just copying that right here. This is part one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So this is what your lab notebook looks like. Now, uh, Ms. Nandor has made a video of the lab itself, so you can watch that video if you have missed the actual lab, or if you do miss the actual lab, you can always fill in the data that Ms. Nandor gets. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't do the summary until you're done. Or your teacher says. You know, whichever comes first. All right. Thanks for watching.